Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? Hey, it is the 29th of March, middle of the afternoon. I'm just doing some videos before the weekend comes. And this one is of particular interest to me. It's about staking on Coinbase. And you're like, well, why is that so interesting to you? Well, because I am on a staking journey. I've been talking to people the past couple weeks, excuse me, about staking. I always want to be a student in the cryptocurrency space, never want to be an expert. I don't even want to be an influencer. I just want to be a little guy like this in his basement doing videos and doing cryptocurrency road trips. Anyhow, so talked to a guy, doing my research on staking, and then this morning, March 29th, 2019, I see an article on Yahoo Finance. I'm like, what? A crypto dividend. Coinbase staking service offers fixed income investment. I'm like, sounds good so far. And full disclosure, some of you like Coinbase, some of you don't. Um, I don't hate it. Uh, there's other exchanges and other places I like better, but I'm not going to throw Coinbase under the box. But when you get into the article, the title is a little bit of a tease. A crypto dividend, Coinbase staking service offers fixed income investment. I'm like, wow, cool. Well, the more you get into the article... Um, it says, investing in cryptocurrency is like putting your money into highly volatile growth stocks. True. Your profits or your losses will be determined by whether the price of your digital asset goes up or down. No kidding. So, Coinbase is offering staking, which promises the owners to collect a fixed income. However, it's only doing it on one cryptocurrency, Tezos, T-E-Z-O-S, Tezos. And the article goes on to say, you know, why they picked um, Tezos. Um, and then on top of that, so the, the article seems like there's a lot that they're going to talk about staking. They only pick one, Tezos and if you have that, you have to have $10,000 to participate in the staking service on Coinbase. So at first, I was super excited to read the article. I don't own any Tezos. I probably won't. But for those of you that do, and you're interested in staking, take a look at this article. Again, don't do it because I'm doing a video on it. Do your own due diligence. But let me know what you think, and let me know what you think about staking. Is it worth it? Do you do it? Where do you do it? And why do you do it? Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99 thanks for subscribing, and I uh, love you all. See you later. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.